Roswell Flight Test Crew here with the fire department in Kent, Washington. Today we're heading out with them on a hazmat drill. We're gonna do... So we met up with the firefighters at Station 76 and now we're following their hazardous materials rig out to the water treatment plant where they use chlorine by the ton. And it's that chlorine gas which is going to be the subject of today's hazardous material exercise. Both firefighters and law enforcement participated in this drill, which focused on terrorists attempting to steal a large cylinder of the deadly gas. Fortunately, in this case, the terrorist is a real dummy. A company officer briefed the team before the exercise got started. We, ha we, do, have the, we do have the drill set up so that there's a rescue component. Um, with, with the SWAT team here today, we've actually set it up so that, that this is a bad guy that's, that's needing to be rescued and basically work out a plan to get the resp our responders up there to get th this guy out. He's pinned underneath one of the tanks. There's not any real product being used today. Uh, they do have an alarm, so if the alarm goes off and the strobe goes off, head that way quickly. Uh, that is not part of the drill. Um, In addition to our drone, the firefighters were deploying a new piece of equipment and new tactics to improve safety. Today it's chlorine, chlorines, ammonia, the kinds of things where we can't set up our operations closely. So we're utilizing a, a system where we use gators to move our, our personnel downrange in their level A suits to go mitigate the leak. One of the additional parts of that is, is air management. And uh, what we're utilizing is a, is a system of multiple air bottles to uh, cover the travel distance, the rescue, the, the leak mitigation, and to get back out and get through decontamination. So the SWAT team headed downrange a few minutes ago. I'm back here with the firefighters waiting to go in once they say the coast is clear. Just in case, we got one of the SWAT guys with us. Um, obviously, this is just a drill, so I feel a lot better about that. At the scene, the SWAT team kept watch in case there were any more terrorists lurking nearby. At the same time, the firefighters used a jack and blocks to extract the pinned terrorist from beneath the tank. The rescue was successful, but then a new problem emerged. The tank may have started leaking deadly chlorine gas. Our mission is to use RQ-CX3 Raven and her FLIR thermal imaging camera to determine whether or not the tank is actually leaking. So in order to simulate a, a cold gas escaping from a, a pressure vessel, we're gonna take uh, just a jug of water and we got some dry ice. Uh, when we put the dry ice in there, it's gonna, the gas is gonna escape out of there. And with the infrared camera on the helicopter, we should be able to see that cold plume coming off, which would simulate, um, say, our chlorine leak. So from a distance, without ever sending personnel in there, we can get a good idea if the tank's leaking or not. From just a few feet away, we could easily see the simulated leak. However, we were unsure whether or not the FLIR would be able to detect it when Raven was hovering high overhead. She lifted off and moved into position. Then, Tekkenstein switched over to the FLIR. The two black squares you can see at the center of the frame are metal hatches to underground storage bunkers. But just beyond them, there is a small, dark smudge, the simulated leak from the chlorine cylinder. In the visible light image, you can clearly see the two hatches, as well as the chlorine cylinder itself. Having proved the value of a drone equipped with a thermal imaging camera in this type of scenario, Raven returns safely home and the first responders plan their next move. At this point, the tank started to leak, so now we're going to send um, our hazmat team in in a full level A suit. They'll be protected against the, the chlorine gas. They're going to go ahead and apply a patch kit to that um, to be able to stop the leak, and then we can transfer the gas off into a, a good tank at a later time. All right, so before uh, every level A entry, we do a preset of vitals. So we check uh, their blood pressure and their pulse rate and make sure that uh, they're healthy, good to go in. Um, and then as soon as they come out, we do another set of vitals to make sure everybody's good to go. And then you have uh, hydration where you're mandatory sit out before you can go back in if we need to. Now clad in full protective gear, the firefighters returned to the cylinder and sealed the leak. 
Back at the staging area, they went through simulated decontamination before shedding their heavy gear. Mission accomplished. Well, that was our day with the Cat Washington Hazmat Unit. And the tactical team. I hope you enjoy watching. See you next time. <laughs> All right, fly safe.